Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce financial model is a financial model and valuation of a North American major diversified bank that is regulated by OSFI, Office of Superintendent of Financial Institutions. The model is ideal for investment professionals, equity research and financial modelers, valuation and transaction experts. The model include a summary dashboard of company financial report, market data, valuation, and annual financial statements. A throw and detailed assumption tabs for all the inputs, including equity, depreciation, tax, loans and advances, capital ratio and target ratios, debt ratings, investment and securities, valuation inputs, risk weighted assets, provisions for credit losses inputs, different types and classes of securities inputs, deposits, cash flow line items, changes in debt and equity and regulatory capital ratios. A comprehensive description of the banking industry metrics, lingo, definition and methodologies are included on the top. Scenario analysis and the best base and worst case scenarios for loan portfolio growth rate of residential mortgages, personal credit cards, business and government loans, as well as loan portfolio interest income rates. A five year historical financial statement and resulting credit statistics, which include financial measures, value measures, on and off balance sheet information, balance sheet quality and liquidity measures, as well as a dashboard of historical performance and ratios. A three statement financial model for a five year forecast period which includes the revenue schedule and interest income schedules for loans, securities, deposits, and cash, loan and interest income schedule, as well as net charge-offs and provision for credit losses schedules, allowance for credit losses schedule, investment securities and interest income schedule, deposits and interest expense schedule, non-interest expense schedule, depreciation and amortization schedule, interest income, interest ta income tax schedule, debt and interest expense schedules, shareholders equity schedule, risk weighted asset schedules, and regulatory capital ratios. Covenants and credit statistics and financial measures are included on the top. Valuation of the bank under three different methods, the discounted cash flow schedule and intrinsic valuation using free cash flow to equity, relative valuation with respect to the Canadian banks, as well as a residual, residual income approach and residual income schedule. And finally, the notes and resources used in the model. The tabs of the model include cover, summary, assumption, scenarios, historical, model, valuation, residual income, and notes.